In today's video, we're going to look at uh, measuring current with a multimeter. So now there's two main things when it comes to measuring current. First off, do not measure the power supply directly. There are exceptions, of course, but uh, as a general rule, don't measure the power supply directly. They generally don't limit current, and you need current limited before you measure it. So we're going to have resistors in this video limiting the current from the power supply. You can see that we have it open on one side. You need an open circuit to take a uh, current measurement. You close that circuit with the uh, probes of the meter. So the current that flows through the resistor is also going to flow through the meter before it heads back to the power supply. That is needed for measuring current. We are going to be measuring less than 30 milliamps of current which is the same as 0 0.03 amps right there. We have a 5 volt power supply there. So that's the uh, maximum current I set for the power supply. So that's going to help protect the meter. This uh, particular meter it's an uh, auto ranging meter but not so auto ranging when it comes to current. So we have the amp range. We would have to move the red probe to there uh, to take the uh, amp readings but we're not going to take amp readings so we can just leave the red probe where it is. We're going to set it to milliamps. So this says uh, milliamps and then we got amps for the next setting. I believe that this meter has a limit of 600 milliamps so that's something you got to check the uh, manual that comes with the uh, meter. So we don't want to exceed that with this meter but otherwise as long as we're in milliamps we should be uh, fine since uh, we're in the milliamp range. If we go to microamp and try to measure milliamps that's a thousand times the current it'll probably blow a fuse inside the meter and you'd have to replace it before you can take uh, measurements in that range again. So make sure you don't uh, take measurements outside the range the meter is set. And now we should take some of the first measurements you should take when you learn electronics. This is a 1000 ohm resistor right there. Again, we opened up the circuit. No current is flowing through it. The current that flows through the resistor also has to flow through the meter. And the meter doesn't affect that current. A good meter should not. It should only measure how much current is flowing. So we can go anywhere to uh, the negative supply right there. 1000 ohm resistor for each volt across it. So we got 5 volts, there's 1 milliamp of current flowing through it, basic Ohm's law. There you can see we got 5 milliamps. And uh, so we would calculate that ahead of time, make sure that uh, we have a general idea how much current's going to flow through it, and then we can measure with the uh, multimeter to uh, verify that. So if you have 10 times the resistance, according to Ohm's law, this is a 10,000 ohm resistor, you should have 1 tenth the current. So we expect 0.5 milliamps right there. And we could get a more exact number by uh, putting it in a microamp range, but uh, we're not going to do that in this video. We're going to keep it simple. So there you can see, 0.5. This is a 220 ohm resistor, and uh, so that is uh, four or five times less resistance than uh, 1,000 right there. It's right in between four and five uh, times less, and so we should have four or five, five times as much current flowing through it with uh, five volts. And you're going to see that's above four times as much current and below five times as much current as the 1000 ohm uh, resistor. So multimeter will help you understand uh, ohms law better. So now we come to uh, my other meter. By the way, these meters probably will not be available. So I'm not even going to show the brand names or anything. But uh, in any case, we actually have to move the uh, red probe, in this case, to measure milliamps, as you can see there. Black stays at com. And... We are going to be measuring less than 20 milliamps, so we're going to set it to 20 milliamps. We also have to turn the power on for this particular meter right there. So here we have a complete circuit instead of a open circuit, as you can see there. But uh, it's open when I don't press the uh, button, and it's closed when I do press the button. So now we have another component in series with the uh, resistor. So that's going to drop, in this case, most of the voltage from the resistor. So without another uh, component drop in current, we saw that the resistor passed more than 20 milliamps of current, which we set with the meter, but this is gonna pull it below. So if you're not sure, set it to a higher uh, current rating to uh, verify. But what we can do, the main uh, purpose of this demonstration is as long as the switch is in the uh, board, nice and uh, snug, we can complete the uh, current just by jumping around the uh, switch right there. So now current is flowing through the uh, meter 
just like it would be with the switch if we were pressing the button. So I'd like to uh, show that. So this is a blue LED. It drops about three volts and uh, red LED drops about two volts. So more current's gonna flow through the red LED as we will see with the meter. It was eight something with the blue LED. It's gonna be like 12 something here with the uh, red LED. And then you can see uh, above uh, 12, a little less than 13 it looks like. So in any case, uh, measuring current uh, may seem intimidating at first and it's actually not terribly useful. As I said before, you know, I did all the uh, calculations which how with how much current's going to flow through these uh, different uh, situations here. And uh, that's all I needed, but uh, sometimes you may want to verify things with the uh, multimeter. So again, this particular one, you have to hit the uh, power button, turn it off, always turn it off. But in any case, I'll take uh, other current measurements in other videos. We're going to keep this one uh, basic right here. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.